which occur. For example, uh, I mentioned the UN TV thing, but also I remember that since I was a choral singer, I was a tenor, and I was supposed to play a role opposite a young lady who's an Anglo-Saxon, but it was just a play. And her parents objected to me as an Afro-descendant playing opposite their daughter. You know, and it's fascinating. I just saw that person about three years ago while I was the ambassador in Washington. You know. But you know, there, there were many other peripheral events that occurred because of what I looked like, or rather what I dared to do. You see, when most students would not have done those things. So let's talk about your political career, um, uh, even in terms of getting to uh, as an ambassador for you. How did that happen? Well, you left out all my medical school and all that. I will start a new one for that. Let's talk for that and oh, I go back oh, to medical okay, school. Okay. Then. Politically, I joined the PLP at its second public meeting. What year was this? 1953. Okay. Right, the meeting was held at a building called the Lydia Club on the corner of Barrow Grand Corner and East Street. And how did you know about the PLP to go to attend this meeting? Because my grocer, my parents' grocer, was the secretary of that branch of the PLP. And he invited us to come to that meeting. And I went with my parents. Both parents or just your father? Both. So it's, so it's a call, a meeting for all of the... PLP until she died at 98 years of age. Okay. So it's a call for the, the entire community to come out yeah, to this meeting? the PLP was new, of course. It was founded in 53 by H.M. Taylor, Cyril Stevenson, Willie Cartwright. Joe Carey, Clement Pender, Cyril Stevenson. These are the founding members, you see. Did, did you know any of these men? No. no. Okay. But I know you mentioned that, say, the second meeting. So yeah. they, I assume that they were there present? Oh, they, they were in the meeting, of course they were. Oh, okay, but just in the informal. The secretary of that particular branch was Mr. Arnold F. Pender the father of Prime Minister, future Prime Minister Pender. You see? So, and immediately I became his assistant. You know, high school boy and all that. You know. Anyway, that's how come I became. And I 